an unremarkable world located far from regularly traveled trade routes, Lessus is inhabited only by a small Asari colony. The main feature is a monastery that houses a large population of Asari with active or latent Ardat Yakshi genes, a disorder that causes the death of anyone who mates with the afflicted Asari. Although some of the colonists exiled themselves voluntarily, many were sent to Lessus by their families to protect society from their deadly potential. The monastery emphasizes individual sacrifice for the good of the community. Latent Ardat Yakshi, as well as active sufferers who show that they can control their condition, may be offered a chance to reintegrate into Asari society after spending sufficient time on Lessus. Active Ardat Yakshi, whose psychological profiles show capacity for neither empathy nor re-education, are confined to the monastery for life. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, I know this may not be the time, but I have something. A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. I'll have to find more information. Are you okay, Liara? Not after what we went through on the Citadel. Maybe we should talk about it later. Let me know if you find anything. Right. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on. It's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. You know he's gonna keep bothering you till you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Asari High Command hid a lot from us. You're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. What's an Ardat Yakshi? They're Asari with a rare genetic disorder. When they bond, they destroy their partner's nervous system. The bonding is addictive and increases their biotic ability. They can be a significant threat. And they're an embarrassment to the Asari people. That's why we couldn't learn more until now. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? My name is Morinth. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same things. Do we? I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. But violence is such a charming way to reach that end. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? There are certain pieces that grab me. What really moves you? Art that touches on primal forces. You understand. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Veenya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? 
dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Everything I hear has something good about it. I see you're a woman of strong opinions. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? No. These Ardat Yakshi lived in the monastery so they wouldn't or couldn't harm anyone. However, they're still powerful biotics and potentially very dangerous. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. Magnified biotics, eh? Great. What's our strategy? So the Asari throw us at the problem? What's the plan? So what does the Asari High Command want us to do? So what's the plan, Doc? That is less than encouraging. What were the Commando's orders? I suppose it's flattering they call us to pick up the pieces. What's the plan? What were the Commando's orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the Commandos were to purge the Monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. How much damage could these Ardat Yakshi do? The ones in this Monastery took imprisonment over death. It's easy to imagine they could resent it. We are ashamed of the Ardat Yakshi. Some of them kill tens of thousands over their lifetime. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes, better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I want you. I kill for you. Anything you want. Shh, darling. Just relax and hear my words. Morin. Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Moran! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <laughs> oh. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. 
Morinth was just hitting her stride. Adat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. We don't need something that dangerous running around during a war. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. As you wish. Though I'd like to know exactly who sent the distress call. We'll find out soon enough. They chose a bad time for a prison break. I want this done as fast as possible. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. Good. The sooner you finish, the sooner Asari High Command stops wasting lives here. Another shuttle. Still warm. There's heat coming off that shuttle. Someone just used it. Shuttle's warm. You think the keys are still inside? This C-111 Skyline shuttle is exuding heat, indicating recent use. My visor's IR says this shuttle's warm. Recent visitor. Shuttle's warm. Someone just arrived. The shuttle is warm. Recently used. The shuttle's warm. We may have a visitor. No elevator. No elevator. No elevator. No elevator. Just as well. They're kill zones. No elevator. Or power. The elevator appears non-functional. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Sounds close. A little too close. Like nails on a chalkboard. And it's calling its buddies. Vocalization exceeds a sorry vocal cord range. As do those. That sound. There's more than one out there. Sounds close. And it has friends. That noise is. Oh. That's much worse. Listen. There's a lot more than one. What was that? Did you hear something? Did you hear that? Is someone there? Hear that? What was that? Hear something. Stay sharp. I heard something. Oh, that was me. Sorry. That was me. Sorry. That was me. Sorry, Commander. Uh, that was me. Sorry. I tripped over debris. I, um, tripped. Sorry. That was my fault. Sorry. She was trapped inside the. What was it again? It was a Prothean security device. I hit something I wasn't supposed to. I'll ask it out. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. I'm in the bubble. <laughs> That's funny. No, it isn't. <laughs> Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Reel is forward.
room tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there, Bo. And delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. seen the Asari commandos felt silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. Reapers? Looks like we know what made the Asari commandos go silent. Reapers? Looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. Reapers? Explains why the commandos never called in. Reapers? Explains why Asari High Command never heard back from the commandos. This was the commandos, Captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. Reapers, I guess we know what happened to the Asari's commandos. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with a nav point location for a bomb. It's planted inside the monastery's great hall. A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. Map marked with a bomb's nav point location. Place called the Great Hall. A map with a nav point location for a bomb. It's in the Great Hall. A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's inside the Great Hall. A map marked with the nav point location of a bomb. They call it the Great Hall. A map showing the nav point location of a bomb. Some room called the Great Hall. Whoa. Drastic. I'd like the Asari to wipe something out unless it saves more lives than it costs. So? The Commandos thought the best course of action was reducing this place to rubble. The Commandos decided to purge this place. If the Asari want to blow up their own monastery, I say we help them out. At least it's no surprise Nuke gone to Chanka, but the Commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Guess the Asari decided this place had to go. So the Commandos started the purge after all. This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. It's great you two know each other, but how'd you find this place? You know everyone we meet, Commander? How'd she find this place? So you know the Commander. But why are you here? You know each other? That's wild. So why are you here? I know the monastery well. My daughters live here, and I came to find them. What brings the Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. But what are you doing here? My daughters live in this monastery, Tally. I am here for them. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Those were my best troops! Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar! the name of the ship she left on. Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> oh. 
My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter, or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. I can't say that I am. That is something we share. You are honest. That is another. How may I be of service to you? I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara starts killing anyone in her way? And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way? After one day, the Justicar will leave this facility, killing anyone in her way. Samara waits one day, then kills anyone in her way. But you'll only obey for a day. After that, you'll kill her for doing her job? And after one day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. And after one day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. And after one day... Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. And after a day, Samara breaks out and starts killing anyone in her way. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. Asari is stupid. Your code just means you kill her tomorrow instead of today. I am afraid so. I'll get the name of that ship. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by a sorry, but it isn't in a sorry space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave a sorry space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Slim chance is better than none. Suppose that makes sense. Bad odds, but better than killing a bunch of people for no good reason. A slim chance is better than no chance. Makes sense. Your code would force you to kill. Takes the fun out of it. Small chance is better than none. Logical. Makes sense. Any chance is better than no chance. Logical calculation. Slim odds, but possible. Better than impossible. Makes sense. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple, 
That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. Find your daughters fast. I'm setting off a bomb the commandos brought here. The Jestakar Code demands I discover what happened to my children in this monastery. I cannot ignore it. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. Too quiet. Are there any survivors? This fight didn't last long by the look of it. It wouldn't. The monastery only had a few guards to protect it, not an army. Not sure how I feel about doing the Asari's dirty work. We need them on our side. Well, Asari Command owes us big time for this. This place is enormous. And there must have been thousands of people living here. I haven't seen any survivors. Me neither. And I bet most of them were civilians. This was likely the Reaper's initial attack site. Think the monastery got any warning? Few signs of resistance. I'd say very little warning. Why did the Reapers invade a monastery? Why'd the Reapers come all this way to wreck a monastery? They'll invade everywhere eventually. I know, but if this place has some strategic value, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, but what makes a sorry nuns a priority target? An isolated fortress. The Adath Yakshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all... They learned. That one's new. What the hell's that? A new enemy! What is that? Goddess, what was that? What is that thing?
sorry. Poor Liara. I'm glad she's back on the Normandy. Those were strange biotics and powerful. The Reapers are converting Asari slaves to their side. We're fighting Reaperized Asari now? Glad Liara isn't here to see this. That thing used to be an Asari? There's not much hope for anyone here, Shepard. That used to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? That Asari has undergone Reaper conversion. We will have to inform Asari High Command. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words, with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaer. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaer? I'm sorry. The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. There's a bomb in the Great Hall. We're setting it off, so find your sister quickly. A bomb? But I thought you came to rescue us. I'm here because this place is a liability. A liability? My friends have been killed. Turned into... Falaire, we did not come to argue. No, you came to destroy us. Falaire! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Look for that bomb. I doubt we'll miss it. You okay? I... thank you. I thought it was safe to come out of hiding, but they're everywhere. Who are you? And what happened here? My name is Feller. I'm... I'm an Ardat Yakshi. The Reaper's monsters have been hunting us. They're turning us into... into those. Please, I saw them drag my sister Rila into the Great Hall. Please, help me save her. The last Ardat Yakshi I met could handle herself in a fight. How about you? Only our teachers know combat biotics. The Reapers didn't come here to find skilled warriors. Then what are they looking for? I... I think they can only make those creatures out of us... Ardat Yakshi. Not... Regular Asari. The Asari seemed convinced Ardat Yakshi had something to do with this invasion. Why would we? 
All my friends, my teachers, most of us came here so we wouldn't hurt anyone. So we'd be safe. I had no reason to leave my home until the Reapers came for us. Why did they? They're not interested in normal Asari. I think... I think they can only make those creatures out of us Ardat Yakshi. Oh, my poor Rila. Please help. We have to do it fast. Asari commandos left a bomb there. This isn't a rescue mission. I'm here to set off the bomb the commandos left. A bomb? But Rila could still be alive. She might be right, Shepard, but we must destroy the monastery. She could be right, Shepard, but we came here to destroy the monastery. Could be, but Shepard's gotta blow the monastery. Shepard, if we want High Command's assistance, this building must be destroyed. She might be right, Shepard, but we've got to destroy this place. Shepard, this monastery has to be destroyed. She may be right, Shepard, but we came here to destroy the monastery. It's our home, and she's my sister. Shepard? Commander Shepard? My mother, Samara, died fighting the Collectors with you. You're Samara's daughter? I was. You couldn't save her, either. No! She's heading to the Great Hall. She's headed to the Great Hall. She's headed to the Great Hall. Ah, she's headed for the Great Hall. She's headed to the Great Hall. She's going to the Great Hall. She better not touch anything. She's headed to the Great Hall. Come on. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. We're not gonna have much luck with those doors. You figure? Between the Reapers and Commandos, I'm amazed this building's still standing. The Commandos really trashed the place on their way through. They were about to blow it up. Kind of a shame. Looks like it used to be real nice here. That elevator's broken. We'll have to take the long route. Unless you picked up the knack of using biotics to float. We're both out of luck on that one. Despite the damage, you can tell this place used to be beautiful. For a prison. You disapprove? Actually, I think the Asari were being kind. Most races would have killed something like an Ardat Yakshi. Forget it, Commander. The door's busted. I mean, in case you couldn't tell from the bullet holes. I had a hunch. Despite this destruction, most of the damage to the monastery is cosmetic. Really? A remarkable amount of this complex is structurally intact. For now. Jethro, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Cecilia later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. Another dead commando. The Asari should have rid themselves of the Adad Yokshi. By rid themselves, you mean kill. My people would never let such monsters walk among them. They didn't care for the competition? Blech. They're blowing up an entire Ardat Yakshi monastery. Doesn't that satisfy you? The Asari should have done it centuries ago. Asari culture is tolerant of the Ardat Yakshi willing to isolate themselves. A weakness we are now paying for. Another commando got overrun? This place must have been chaos. Or they panicked. She was fortunate her death was quick. You're sure about that? Does it help to imagine otherwise? Asari commandos have decades of experience. They don't panic. Doesn't matter how long you've been fighting. You never know what'll break your unit. Asari commandos are exceptionally well trained. This one was unlucky. Hope she sent a dozen Reaper freaks over the ledge before they got her. Sad you missed the show, Elsie? Yeah. Wish they could have been here to back us up. Maybe she got trapped. There was nowhere to run. No. Not unless you're into mountain climbing. Another dead commando. Was she holding off Reapers, or was she left behind? It does not matter. 
No, it matters. I want to think she could trust her team in a fight. She's beyond that question now. Commandos work as teams. She would have volunteered to guard this point. Hope she took some down before she died. Wish we knew. I hope Asari Command isn't expecting us to bring back their soldiers. It's likely she volunteered to set up nearby explosives. At least we're carrying on her work. You joking? The commandos came ready to blow up the place. Tell me they weren't expecting casualties. I'll show you a fucking liar. I hope it's the former. That's a bad place to die. Name me a good one, Caden. That's a gruesome thought. You were wondering too, weren't you? Yeah. Did the Asari plant those explosives, or did they mess up and die out here? We'll soon see. You're not worried? While the Reaper soldiers are dying, I am content. Huh. Lucky bastard. I have not yet had visual confirmation on the status of the other squads. We'll keep counting, Edie. We're screwed if they're all here. After what the Reapers did, they wouldn't rest until the bomb was in place. Doc, your people aren't invincible. No. Trust me. If we find the explosives, I may be able to jury-rig something. You good at demolition, Sparks? Yes, but they're usually accidental. It doesn't feel right seeing dead soldiers in a monastery. Where would you prefer to see them? Defending their homes. Alive. Ardat Yakshi are dangerous. The Asari felt compelled to take action. Really? Feels more like they ignored this place until it became a liability for the war. I wonder if the Ardat Yakshi were waiting for the commandos to save them. I think the commandos got sent here too late to change anything. Asari High Command couldn't take a chance with Ardat Yakshi. Something had to be done. Sending commandos with explosives is more damage control than a real plan, Lyra. The Reapers don't care where they kill us, Major. No, but Asari High Command could have evacuated the people here before it came to that. I found another Asari Commando, also deceased. Falaire and her sister may be the only survivors. Yes. I was unsure if it was appropriate to broach the subject. Thank you, Edie. But don't spare my feelings. It's better to know. Another commando. Why did they go so far into the monastery? Perhaps the commandos were looking for survivors? Their luck was no better than ours. The Great Hall is an ideal location from which to set up a controlled demolition. Then we'd better find ourselves an exit before setting off those explosives. We found our bomb. There's our bomb. There's the Asari bomb. The bomb. There's the bomb. There's the bomb. The bomb! And Falaire. The bomb appears intact. So does Falaire. Rila, wake up! Look, Rila's alive. She's not a monster. Please, let me wake her up. Then we can leave. Rila, Rila, it's me. It's Falaire. Please. We have to go. Right now. Falea. Rila cannot hear us. Look. She's still alive. I know. But I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Why did she do that? She is lost to the Reapers. Conversion has begun. The Reaper soldiers started her conversion. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The Reaper troops started converting Rila. I'm sorry. The Reaper troops have started converting her. Because the Reaper troops got to her. She's turning into one of them.
Unfortunately, the Reaper troops have begun converting her into one of their own. The Reapers started converting her into one of their own. Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. The explosives require a detonator. You got a detonator? We need a detonator. Not without a detonator. We need a detonator. Not without a detonator. You got a detonator? Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. Let go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. There wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Falaire, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. 
by the Justicar's code. There is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I believed. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait, now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. I meant it when I said the galaxy needs you against the Reapers. You were right. It's past time I joined your battle. I'll fight in your armies, Shepard, once I speak with Valer. I'll be waiting. Not for long. Thank you, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I believed. Would she do this after Rila saved our lives? To honor her warrior's code, no matter the price. She shouldn't have been the one to pay it. We had no idea she would. This wasn't right. For a while, I hoped she'd found a way to take me with her. I... I don't know. But it's not your fault. Thank you. But it isn't true. Shit. She shouldn't have done this to you. No. She probably thought this was kind. It was the only way she could save yours. Everything was finished. This didn't need to happen. Samara wouldn't have done it if she saw another way. Then you knew her much better than I did. You did nothing to cause this, Valer. Samara made her choice. She shouldn't have had to. My mother died because of our code. Because I'm an Ardak Yakshi. Please, leave me with her. It's your choice, but the Asari may not send ships here for a while. I don't intend to rely on ships coming for me. If the Reapers return, I promise they won't find me here alive. We're done. Bring the shuttle over. Everything settled down there, Commander? Yeah. All clear. You're an Ardat Yakshi, Falaire. I can't risk you leaving this planet. I have no plans to leave. And I'd never let the Reapers take me alive. I can't take that chance. What are you doing? Isn't losing my family enough? Goodbye. We need a pickup. Everything settled down there, Commander? 
As much as it'll ever be. Bring the shuttle. I want off this planet. Getting your coordinates now, Commander. Just follow the smoke. Marina, there wasn't even time to say goodbye. You said you'd help her. She could have come with us. You would have died if Rila hadn't sacrificed herself. She didn't want that. There must have been another way. We could have found a cure. It was too late. You don't know that. We could have tried something, anything. Rila was struggling not to attack. She already belonged to the Reapers. She wasn't a monster! There's nothing we could have done. You're saying that because you ran. And you took me with you. You should have left me with Rila! Stand down. I'm the last of my kind, and even now I'm giving you a reason to finish what the Asari soldiers started. I wouldn't do well in the outside world. Leave me here. This place is ruined. Can you survive here? I vowed I'd never leave this planet. And I never will. If the Reapers come again, I promise they won't find me here alive. All clear. You can bring the shuttle around. I'll follow the smoke, Commander. I risk the Reapers getting a hold of you if you stay. After what they did to Rila, I would never let them. You can't promise that. Then I go to join my sister. Goodbye. Bring the shuttle, and get a sorry high command on the line. Right, Commander. Land the shuttle. Coming in now, Commander. Let's get out of here. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Glad you talked Samara down. Sorry about Samara. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for... God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. Edie showed me vids of the Banshees. That's messed up. None of the Reaper's victims come out looking pretty. Well, yeah, mutating people to turn them into living weapons is one thing. But the yelling! Why make them yell? It's totally uncalled for. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, Critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. 
If we're not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Hey. So, are you doing a story on the Asari who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Okay, toughest mission. Horizon. No fair, I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle and you're the one who likes things at short range? And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. Exactly. Wait, what? Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rakdai. The Queen? But we didn't fight her either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. I guess it depends on who it is. Hey, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. That is not a side of the sorry I ever want to see. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. It wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Samara was the kind of soldier we needed in this war. What a waste. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Pretty painful that we couldn't save the Akshi, any of them. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. Oh, never 
never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardot Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. That poor girl. Valer? Yes. Shepard, did you really have to... Never mind. I should get back to work. To see her mother die like that. For a moment, I felt like I was back on Novaria, watching Benezia pass away. Mother! Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. At least I knew my mother. Valer never had that chance. Her name is Tasha Pore. Of course. P O R A E. No, I realize you can't tell me where she was deployed. Can you inform me if she's under orders not to communicate with her family? It's uh, been a while since I heard from her. Uh huh. But I would be contacted if she were injured, correct? Yes, I'm listed as her bond mate. Yes, I can hold. Weshra? I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. These aren't our last hours. I'm fighting this war to win it. No doubt, but you can't deny that the galaxy will be forever changed once it ends. Even I can predict how. A little humbling. But perhaps that's a good thing. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But... Following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. An odd question, coming from the Spectre who killed her third Reaper on Rannach. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. 
I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. Your time is precious. Spend it wisely. And with those who care for you. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Wow, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way too. I know. <laughs>